The reason I love to be a breast surgeon is unlike most general surgery where you have very episodic care, uh, I have long-term relationships with my patients. So, I mean, I have patients that I've been seeing for 30 years. The first thing, of course, is to get a thorough history and exam. Um, and, and then hopefully to at least put the patient's mind at ease a little bit that, you know, even though there's something that may need biopsied. And if their lesion is highly suspicious, you know, you just kind of tell them the truth because that's the best way to deal with it is if, you know, if you have knowledge, then you can deal with something and, and that gives you power. That's kind of my goal for those initial visits is really just to sort of let them understand that they've done everything right and they're in the right place and we're going to get an answer for them. Once they have a diagnosis of cancer, then of course it becomes a much larger discussion. It takes me a good hour and a half or so, maybe more, to get through all of the information they need. So that's my number one goal, of course, is to give them that information and then hopefully, you know, have them walk out the door a little less frightened than they were when they came in. I had cancer when I was 43 years old. I had prostate cancer, which doesn't happen to anyone when they're 43 except it did. I really acutely am aware of what it feels like to be told that and to sit in that chair and have to kind of gather the knowledge you need to make those decisions. So uh, yeah, it's a life-altering event and, and so, uh, you know, if I can hopefully make that easier and, uh, and make that a better experience for them, then again, that's just a really good day for me. I do this because I care and because it brings me joy. So uh, I hope that they can feel confident that, that when they come to see me and, and come to our team and come to our breast center, uh, that that's our motivation. You know, we are there solely to help them get through a really difficult time. And, uh, and again, I'm proud of, of the team that we've built here. Uh, to do that.